Hello mate and welcome back to Let's Code 4, this time it's personal. In this video we're going to add some more functionality to our game and change some bits of the UI. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons, your names will be running across the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel then feel free to check out the description below for how you can do that. So let's jump into this then. The first thing that we need to do building on what we did in our last video is we need to add some kind of way of displaying our energy, food and drink. Those are going to be key factors in the game so not having the character or rather the player able to see them would seem nonsensical. So what we need to do is create a new screen so we're going to do that right now. So in screens we're just going to go add new file and we'll call this one uh, energy underscore food underscore drink dot rpy don't worry we're not going to call the screen that it's just so that we know what this screen is going to display so we'll just call this screen and then we'll call this macro stats there we go nice and easy to remember so all we really want to do is display these as percentages i know that in certain other stat management games they might have bars or something like that but then bars are all very well and good except that you still have to say that show the number in a percentage in something like a tooltip or something. Otherwise, the player is not going to have an accurate idea of how much they actually have. So rather than putting bars on the screen and wasting time messing around with that, all we're going to do is we're going to display our text with different colors in a window on the screen so that we have a really easy way of seeing those things. So as we move on, we may change the formatting and that sort of thing. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a frame and we're going to copy from our navigation screen, not that navigation screen. That's the main menu navigation screen. We're actually going to go to our nav screen and we're actually going to copy this style here. And then we're going to just pop this in there. And this time we're going to say macro frame. And we're going to use style prefix macro. There we go. Cool. So we need it to be um, where we want it to be, basically. So we've got the sizes more or less right. We didn't. We want it to be roughly the same size as the bar below it. So 300 is fine. 600 is unnecessary. I'm actually going to remove that. We don't need it. We want to keep the padding the same. Now we want the X line to be zero, zero, but we're actually gonna give it a Y position. So if the previous screen is 600 from the bottom, that means that we need to set this in a position that's gonna be just above it. And we wanna give ourselves probably about 50 pixels space. So 650 of 1080 leaves us with 430. So we're gonna say Y pause, 430. And then if we need to change it, we will do. But for now, that's fine. So there's our frame settings set up perfectly. So all we want to do now is create an H box. And we can change this to a V box if we so choose. It's not the end of the world. We're just going to see how it looks with a text box first. So we're going to say text. And then we're going to input our variable in there. Format like so. And what I think I might actually do is go like this and see how that looks now we must remember to put percentage signs in there as well otherwise it's not going to look like it makes any sense format and then we're going to open our brackets now we've already got our variables defined if you remember from way 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 back so we're going to do energy so energy and then food and then drink like so and then We'll see how that looks first. So first thing we have to do is run the game. So that's what I'm going to do. Remembering that we also have to use this screen. So we'll just control C that there. Go into our main UI. We want this to be more or less in the same layer as the nav screen. So we'll just do that there. And then we're going to test to see if that works and how it looks. And as you can see, um, it's doing its job, but it needs some formatting and it also needs to be slightly adjusted or we need to add some kind of font to this which i think is probably the best thing that we can do so 
we'll just quickly jump back into our text. I've already added some fonts to my game. I strongly advise that you do, but you don't have to. You can just make the text smaller. It's entirely up to you. So the first thing that we really want to do is we want to actually add some more styles to our file here. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And all we're going to do is we're going to say style and we're going to say uh, energy keyword like so. And I'm going to say color and we'll just leave that blank for a moment because I want to create several of these control CV. No, oh, we don't want to do that. So we've got energy, now we want food, and we want drink. Save that as though we are ready to go. Next thing we need to do is actually give these things some colors. So obviously the most sensible thing to do would be to have a drink being blue. I'm gonna give it a fairly deep blue just to make sure that we get the right uh, information in there so I'm just going to go with um, energy is going to be sorry food drink we're going to go with that that's uh, I'm getting I'm using a hex color picker to get these things so don't uh, don't worry too much I'm going to go with green for food and again I'm going to add that one in there and then energy I'm going to have as red ish or kind of a more of a pinky red just to make sure that it stands out and we'll go with that in there like that so the next thing we want to do is actually put these into our text formatting and in order to do that all we have to do is come in here and we're going to put in some more curly braces and in this one we're going to say energy underscore keyword like so and then we'll remember to put our close in there in this one we'll go with that food like that oh, nearly messed up there close that one off there and then in this one we'll go with drink keyword oh, blimey I'm spelling all over the place drink keyword remember to put equals in there as well and then in this we can then close that off then that gives us everything we need for that to look different and then we can add some fonts and other information there to make it look smaller. I've already done that with my tooltips. So I'm gonna to go to my tooltips screen and as you can see, I've defined a load of other stuff here. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to take it back into my energy, food and drink thing. I'm gonna pop it at the end here and then I'm gonna delete the bits I don't want. So I don't need outlines or color because they're pre the color is predefined in the style over here now i could actually just copy this information down into here um, but it just feels like there's no point rewriting the same code three times when i could just put it all in here and i'm actually going to change the size more something like 24 and then that should make it look roughly what i want it to look however this is where we're going to run into an issue and that is because we're using the format and we're using curly braces for more than one thing and it's just going to cause more trouble than it's worth so what i'm actually going to do is because we've used an hbox and we did this for a very good reason um, we don't actually have to do this all in one line so what we can do is we can copy this information into our style like so and then we can just copy that control c control v and control v so all that stuff i said about not wanting to type it multiple times unfortunately in this instance we're going to have to do so what we have to do here is we can actually leave that in there for the moment we're going to get rid of that and we're going to stick a set of curly brace set of speech marks there speech marks there and then speech marks there get rid of that now and then all we have to do is remove that and put in there energy food and then drink 
and then we can add a space at the end of that one and a space at the end of that one to make sure that that does what we need it to do. And then that will resolve any issues that we have. So there is a danger of overly complicating things. Realistically, we just need this to be nice and simple like this. And in fact, I have made a foobar there. Look, as you can see, that should fix that. And as you can see, we've got more or less what we're after, although for some inexplicable reason, none of them are aligned correctly. So we need to add something else to these properties. So what we can do is say, why align 0.5, copy that, making sure that we've got that all correct. And now what I might actually do is make these bold because we want them to be We want them to stand out, so I'm just going to copy that and paste that there. Control S, and then if we come back to our code, uh, we're going to have to do a Shift R reload. And then as you can see, it is bold. It does look kind of crap though, doesn't it? So I may just undo that. Save that. And now what we have to do is we actually have to give our window, our frame, uh, a a Y coordinate or a Y size because at the moment 0.5 just isn't doing anything so we actually need to make sure that we give our Y size a rough guesstimate so we said 50 didn't we so we'll save that and then let's see what happens and we also need to give our H box the same dimensions and what I actually want to do is, thinking about it, I'm actually going to create V boxes for each one of these, and I will just explain why in a second. So V box like this. I'm going to add that there. We'll do the same thing for the other two. And then underneath each one, I'm going to go text, and then I'm going to copy basically what's in here. And then I'm going to edit it afterwards. So we'll just go with that. And then we're going to remove the line from the end. And we will remove this text from in here. And now we're just going to type in the word energy like so. I'm going to double check to see how that looks. As you can see, it's taking up rather a bit more space than we wanted it to. So I'm going to actually adjust the size of that text so that it fits. So what we actually need to do is create a new property there. And then we will copy all of these. And then we're going to paste them at the end. And then we're going to add a B to the end of each one of these. Like that. I don't think we need to go with bold false on these ones because I don't think it actually is going to access it. And then we'll try 18 at the size of each one of these like that. So now that's accessing that and it should, in theory, look a little bit better. There we go. So now that's nice and small and it actually looks like it's meant to be there. We could make it even smaller if we wanted to. I'm feeling like 16 might be a better size. So let's go with that. And then let's have another look. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And now what we need to do is actually give it an X align because we want it to be in the middle of the box. So we'll say X align 0.5. Then we'll add that to all of these. And then that should now hopefully align better. So what we need to do is copy that. And pop that in there. Bit of a faff, I know. So food keyword B. Let's just grab that one. Oh no, that's energy. We need to yeah, we need to change that so that it says food. And then we'll grab drink keyword. Change that so that it says drink. Perfect. And then if we look at our resulting text, still a bit of an alignment issue here. We can fix that in a little while. But for now, that's now demonstrating or, or showing the player what we've got, which is pretty much what we're after. And whilst we're in the mood to tidy things up, what I think I will do is remove that from there. Which I 
just get that and then we're going to pop that outside the text box like so and then we'll copy that remove that from there cool what i've also just done off camera briefly was i wrote a style for the vbox so style macro vbox align 0.5 on both x and y and set the padding to zero it's because we don't really need there to be any padding inside this vbox so now that we save that and we can look at our text box now and you can see it's coming together we still need to sort out this issue with the texts not aligning between these two so i'm going to quickly work on that so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a new macro hbox style and i'm going to set the x size to be 286 which is our 300 pixels wide minus the seven padding and i'm also going to set the y align to be 0.5 so that it's dead central and what i think i need to do now is actually put x align 0.5 at the end of all of these and there's a good reason for that is that if you'll notice i'm applying the style to the text within the brackets but not all of it so i think it's just going to be easier just to copy and paste this and append it to every line a little bit of a faff but it will hopefully yield the results that we're after and if we now quickly check how that looks yeah there you go now you can see that looks much better our text is aligned it's central to the box we've got a little bit of a gap between our nav screen and our stat display so i would call that a successful venture what i'm also going to do now is i'm going to apply the fonts that i want to use in different font sizes to the text within the nav screen so I'm going to I'm going to do that off camera because you don't need to see that. You've already seen how we apply fonts to text styles uh, using the styles up here. So I'm going to quickly do that now and then I'll jump right back in. So there we go. I've quickly done that. And as you can see, all I've done is just apply different fonts and font sizes and font weights to obviously the main location. And then the sub locations have a slightly lighter text look so that that stands out quite nicely. One thing I also did off camera was I actually wrote some new or made some new icons just to make this side of the UI look a little bit better. And what I can do now that I've designed these icons is I can sort of change some of the theme of the UI to match them. But for now, I think it's fine. As I said, all you have to do is just create separate PNG files for each one of the actions. And there we go. So the UI is now starting to look really nice. Currently, we're not actually using these stats for anything, but what we will do in the next video or the subsequent video at some point is actually start utilizing our energy, food and drink stats so that they actually add some kind of competitive element to the game. Thanks very much for watching that, guys. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves. All right. Bye bye.